Deltoid, ready to play hide-and-seek? I, Deltoid, am always ready for a game of hide-and-seek. <laughs> we can start as soon as Smartysaurus arrives. I cannot wait to play. I'm so excellent at hide-and-seek. <laughs> I am Deltoid, king of hiding. Oh! <laughs> Maximum alert! Noddy, help! Maximum alert! Maximum alert, help! What's wrong, Fuse? My workshop is ruined. My outside wall is no longer yellow. Someone's painted it blue. Blue. How I like blue. The colour of the sky. Who would paint the workshop wall without asking? That's what I want to know. Sad face. I need to investigate. Who painted Fuse's wall blue? Time to open a new case. Investigate! Who? What? What? When? When? Where? Where? Why? Why? How? How? Let's investigate now! Let's call this the case of the blue wall. But what about hide and seek? <laughs> we'll play after I've finished my investigation. I promise. Yes! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What's your plan, Noddy? I need to have a look at the blue wall. Come on, Fuse. Oh. Good luck, Noddy! Look, blue. Got it, Faze. Don't worry, Fuse. We'll find out what happened. The wall's so high. Hmm. Hmm. And the paint's still wet. It must have been painted this morning. Were you here? No, I was out at an emergency breakdown all morning. So it must have been painted then. Who has paints and brushes in Toyland and loves painting? <coughs> yes, Pat Pat. Let's go and see her. Good luck. <laughs> wow, your sculpture's amazing. Thanks, Noddy. Are you on an investigation? Yes. Oh, super exciting. What's happened? Someone painted Fuse's wall blue. <laughs> Do you know anything about it? You've got loads of paints and brushes, and I know you like decorating. That's true, but I'd never have painted it blue. I'd have made it all yellow, like sunshine. Oh. Bumpy, look at that ladder. That's it. Maybe that's how the wall was climbed, with a really tall ladder. Fuse's wall is so high, whoever painted it could have used a ladder to climb up. Where can I find a really tall ladder in Toyland? Oh, I know, I know. Farmer Tom has one. He uses it for picking fruit. Great. Thanks, Pat Pat. See you later. Hello, Bumpy. If you're here, it means Noddy can't be far away. I'm a bit of a detective myself. <laughs> Hello, Farmer Tom. Hi, Tractor. How are you, Noddy? Are you here for some nice crispy lettuces? I've got big ones, big ones and big ones. <laughs> you don't get better than these. Thanks, but I'm on an investigation. I'm trying to find out who painted fuses all blue. Whoever did it needed to climb up very high. Look! Oh, you have a tall ladder, don't you? Yeah, I lent it to the pirates. They said they needed it to get very high up. High up? Maybe the pirates used the ladder to paint Fuser's wall. Thanks. We've got to go. Bye! <laughs> Ahoy, Noddy! How are ye, lad? Ahoy, Captain. Can I ask you a question?
question. I can't hear ye. You'll have to climb up. <laughs> Let me help. Uh, oh. oh, thanks, Noddy. Now, what can I do for you? I'm on an investigation. Did you use the ladder to do anything else today? Well, like what, lad? Like painting Fuse's wall blue? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever do we do that for? We've got our ship to clean, and it's taking forever. Deltoid was meant to help us this morning. He's so big and strong. <laughs> we clean the ship in no time when he helps. But he said he had something urgent to do. Something urgent? Really? Deltoid's big, big enough to paint a high wall, and he wouldn't need a ladder at all. <laughs> yes, you're right, Bumpy. He was in Brickerfield this morning, and he said he liked blue. I wonder if he painted the wall. Let's go and see Deltoid. Good luck with the ship cleaning. Bye, Noddy. One, reach. Two, stretch. Three, move. Four, hold. Huh? Huh. Noddy, have you finished your investigation? Can we play hide and seek now? Almost. Deltoid, did you paint Fuse's wall blue? <laughs> Me? Deltoid? Paint the wall? I like blue, but it was not me. So who else is big enough to paint a high wall without a ladder? Yes, Smartysaurus is even taller than you. Maybe she painted the wall. Come on, you two. Let's go to the dino lab. <laughs> Be fast, Noddy! I want to play hide and seek! <laughs> Smarty Taurus? Hello? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Smartysaurus. Oh, yes. I'm practicing hide and seek. Did you paint Fuse's wall blue this morning? He's very upset. Oh, yes. It was me. Why did you do it? Oh, I didn't mean to upset Fuse. It was for hide and seek. For hide and seek? Uh huh. I'm so big that I always stick out. So I painted the wall behind my hiding place blue, like me, so that the bits of me that stick out can blend into the background, like a chameleon. Look, a blue wall plus a truck plus me equals a brilliant hiding place. Even if I stick out, I'm invisible. That's really clever, but I think you need to explain it all to Fuse. Oh. <sighs> I'm so sorry I painted your wall without asking. I'll paint it back right now. Thank you. Offer accepted. But I need to relax my circuits first with a game of hide and seek. Happy face! Yay! Yeah! <laughs> yes! 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 I, Deltoid, will be invisible for everyone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, I'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming. Ready or not? <laughs> hmm. Ah. Found you. <laughs> I didn't, but I know it's your hiding place. Uh, 
<laughs> Another case closed. Clever you. <laughs> Thanks. I asked all over Toyland if anyone knew who painted the wall. After I spoke to Deltoid, I realised that Smarty Saurus was the only one big enough to paint the very top of the wall. <laughs> the case of the blue wall is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! <laughs> When's your show, Pat Pat? This afternoon at Brickerbell Town Square. The pockets are going to decorate the square with those ribbons so that it looks super lovely. <laughs> wee, wee. I've been practicing for ages and ages. Wow! I want my show to be super duper extra amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't very super amazing. Don't worry. It was only Revs honking his horn that threw you. And you won't do that again, will you, Revs? <laughs> Good boy. We're going to collect big ears. See you at the show. Oh. Oh. Oh, I do like a baton twirling performance. <laughs> I did a bit of it myself, and it's not as easy as it... Oh. oh no! Oh! Ah. What's happening? Ah. Oh. 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 Slippery stuff! Slippery stuff! Grab my hand! <laughs> Thank you, lad. That stuff be a terrible nuisance. Arr! What on earth is going on? Why is all this slippery stuff <laughs> oh, everywhere? I'm sorry, Pet Pet. We can't have your show until the whole area's been cleared. It's just too slippery. What a pity. That's really strange. There's slippery stuff smeared all over the place. I don't think this was an accident. Mm. Do you think someone was trying to ruin Pat Pat's show? Maybe. I need to investigate. Who spoiled Pat Pat's show? Time to open a new case. Investigate! Who? What? what? When? when? Where? Where? Why? Why? How? Let's investigate now! called this the case of the slippery stage. How are you going to start the investigation, Noddy? I need to find out what all this stuff is. Hang on, Bumpy. There. Hmm. It looks like the polish Fuse gives me to keep me nice and shiny, Bumpy. <laughs> Maybe he knows something about all this slippery stuff. Let's go. I was at an emergency repair. How can I help you? Do you know anything about this? Yes. Happy face! It's my homemade polish. The best in Toyland. Yes, I know, but do you know why it spreads all over the square? It's all slippery and Pat-Pat can't put on her show. Negative. Poor Pat-Pat. Sad face! Here are my tins of polish. All in order, as you can see. Two polished tins are missing. But cannot compute. They were there before I went out. Uh, someone must have taken them. But the door was locked. So how did they get in? Hmm. Huh? Was that window open when you went out? Correct. I left it open. Oh. Uh, thief alert! Thief alert! Check or stop! Calculating! Calculating! Thief alert! 
Thief alert! Oh? Thanks, Bumpy. Fuse! I think this is for you. Oh. oh! Sorry, Fuse. This is a polish emergency. I couldn't wait for your return, so I took two tins. Calculating. No thief! Happy face! But who was it? <coughs> this looks like fairy dust. Maybe one of the fairies took your polish. They're small enough to get through the window and they can fly. Coco and Cleo? But why? That's what I'm going to find out. Let's go to Fable Forest. <coughs> Polishing day. No one is allowed inside. But I'm on an investigation. Ah, well, how about these? Ta -da! <laughs> Slippers? Thanks. Now, what are you investigating? Do tell. Brickerville Town Square is covered in polish. Really? How strange. And I've hardly got enough polish for the throne room. How does a queen polish all these floors with only one tin? Uh... Coco was meant to bring two. <gasps> Fuse's hmm. polish is the best in Toyland. It works even better on the floors than my magic. Um, uh, 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 queen Sparkle Wings. Oh, no. What's happened? Sorry, Noddy. Got to dash. Good luck with your investigation. Only one tin. But Coco took two tins. What's happened to the other one? Oh. <laughs> Hello, knights. Do you know where the fairies are? Good day, Noddy. I do know that they're not here polishing with us like they should be. They went outside. We know our duty. Nights polish until the floors are shining clean. See? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I meant to do that. I totally meant to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> really? I preferred the ponytail. Um. <laughs> Coco, when did you get the ribbon? Oh. I'm sure I've seen ribbon like that before. Look, Pat Pat has the same ribbons. She said the pockets were using them to decorate the town square. Coco, did you put slippery polish on the square? No, I wasn't anywhere near the square, but I did swap the polish for... For a pink ribbon? Hmm. Did the pockets swap it? No. So, if it wasn't the pockets... <gasps> Was it Pat Pat? Yes. But what for? Why would she want to spoil her own show? <laughs> well done! Noddy, what are you doing here? Pat Pat, did you put polish all over the square? It's okay. You can tell me if you did. But why? I was nervous about making a mistake. You saw me drop the baton earlier when Rev speaked. I just needed some time for extra practice. 
It's okay, Pat Pat. Everyone gets nervous. I know. I'm so sorry. I wanted to give a super duper show, but I'm still not sure I can do it. Hmm. <laughs> Don't worry. I have an idea. Before I start, I just want to say the biggest ever sorry to all of you for all the trouble I caused. Hmm. Music! <laughs> Thanks, Big Ears. Once I knew it was polishing day at the fairy castle, and that fairy Coco swapped the polish for Pat Pat's ribbon, I worked out it was Pat Pat who was delaying her show. She wanted to practice more. The case of the slippery stage is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! <laughs> so, you're sure you remember the rules of the Swapsy game, Cloppycorn? I think so. I push the Swapsy wagon all round Toyland, and each toy puts one thing in and takes one thing out. Biggest teapot. <laughs> and I put in my special grooming kit and take out Noddy's binoculars. <laughs> nice. Playing. It's not fair. Why can't I push the Swapsy Wagon? But you pushed it last time, Bling. It's Clobby Gorn's turn. Mm -hmm. Well, it won't be as good as who for me. It'll just get lost or go the wrong way or lose all the toys. <gasps> <gasps> Maybe we won't play either. We don't want our yo-yo getting lost. It won't. I promise I'll look after everything. Naughty or nice, promise. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> OK, we'll put in our yo-yo and take out Hoof's special grooming kit. Uh -huh. <laughs> OK, that's everyone done. Hooray! <laughs> I'm off to Fable Forest. <laughs> Let's take a picture. <laughs> Bye, Cloppy Corn. Good luck. <sighs> ah, peace and quiet. Noddy, Ooh. there you are. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I need you to come to Fable Forest, quick. Hmm. <gasps> the Swapsy Wagon's empty. What happened, Cloppycorn? Bling was right. The Swapsy Game's ruined and it's all my fault. But it wasn't empty when it left Toy Green. How can it be empty now? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. I need to investigate. Why is the Swapsy Wagon empty? Time to open a new case. Investigate! Let's call this the case of the empty Swapsy Wagon. How are you going to solve this one, Noddy? I think I need to look at the wagon for clues. Cloppycorn, can you remember what was in there? Maybe it will help me work out why someone took them. Um, the fairy's yo-yo and deltoid's bouncy ball. Hmm. Oh, look, a sticky flower's missing. <laughs> it was there when Clobbycorn left Toy Green. Ooh. I wonder if it got torn when the toys were taken out of the wagon. <laughs> bouncy, bouncy! <laughs> Clever, Bumpy. 
You found the missing ball. Hi, Noddy. Do you like our new ball? It's so super bouncy. Look! <laughs> bouncy, bouncy! Pat Pat, where did you get it from? Did you take it from the Swapsy Wagon? No, we found it. Found it? Where? We'll show you! <laughs> Good luck, Noddy. <laughs> we found it behind this tree. I'm so sorry, Cloppy Corn. We didn't know it came from the Swapsy oh. Wagon. And you haven't seen any yo-yo either? No. Yo-yo! Yeah, 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 yeah. So someone else must have taken it out and left it here. But why? <coughs> what is it, Bumpy? <coughs> this is hoof polish. That's hoofs. Oh, I remember here. I came this way with the wagon, and Hoof was over there doing circus tricks. Circus tricks? Yeah, he was really funny. I stopped to watch him, and he was spinning plates and trying to balance on one leg. He was fantastic. So are you, Cloppycorn. Super duper fantastic. Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> and where was the wagon? I left it over there. <gasps> oh! <gasps> you left it? Oops. That must be when the toys were taken out. Did you see anything? No, I, I was so busy watching Hoof. I didn't notice anyone at all. Maybe Hoof saw who it was. Let's go and talk to him. <laughs> You mean you lost all the toys? Oh, dear. I knew you'd lose it. You're too little. I told you I should have pushed the Swapsy Wagon. Uh, Bling, what's that stuck on your head? What? Where? There. It's the missing sticky flower from the Swapsy Wagon. Ah. Uh... <gasps> Bling? I think it was you who took the ball and the yo-yo, <gasps> wasn't it? <laughs> huh? um. Were you jealous because you wanted to push the wagon? Well, I... Uh, well... And then did you do circus tricks so that Cobbycorn would watch you? Is that when Bling took it out of the wagon? Hoof? <sighs> well, OK, I was jealous and I did take the bouncy ball and put it behind a tree, but I didn't touch the yo-yo. Sorry, Cloppy Corn. Yeah, sorry. That's OK. But if you didn't take the yo-yo, that means someone else must have taken it after you'd gone. But who? Oh, no. I'd better go and tell the fairies I've lost their yo-yo for good. No, Cloppy Corn, wait. This investigation is really hard. But Big Ears always says, a good investigator looks and looks again. Let's go back to the forest. Maybe I've missed something. See you later. Oh, and Hoof, I think this belongs to you. My hoof polish. What's it doing in your car? I found it at the edge of the forest. You must have dropped it there. No, it was in my special grooming kit. The one I put in the Swapsy wagon. Oh. So whoever took it left the polish behind and maybe they took the yo-yo too. Who took the grooming kit? Big ears? No. Bumpy? No. The fairies! Well, I hope they look after the yo-yo better than they looked after my grooming kit. Looked after it? That's it! Thanks, Who? Hey? Oh, oh, and maybe we could help some more. <sighs> Let's try and find the yo-yo. Hmm? Oh, I'm so sorry. No, really, it's okay. No, it isn't. I promised you your yo-yo would be safe, and it's gone. <sighs> Clobby corn, wait! I think I know who took the yo-yo. <gasps> you do? Yes, I think it was Coco and Cleo. <gasps> But it can't have been. It's their yo-yo, isn't it? Uh... Why were 
did you take back your own toy? Sorry. We were trying to tell you. But why? We were worried you might lose it, so we followed you. And we found the wagon with no one looking after it. So you thought you'd better take the yo-yo and look after it yourselves? But I'd only left the wagon for a couple of seconds. I thought I'd messed up the whole Swapsy game. Ooh. Noddy, Noddy. We've been looking everywhere, but we couldn't find... Hey, how did you get it? Don't worry. We put everything back in the wagon and begin a new Swapsy game. Here. Yeah, thanks! And this time I promise you all the things really will be safe with me. Yay! Yay! <laughs> wow! <laughs> one, two, 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 and take out Deltoid's bouncy ball. Hooray! <laughs> 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 and I'll put in my shield and take out the fairy's yo-yo. Hooray! OK, let's go! Great, Clopicorn. Huh? I put my ribbon in and I take out the torch. Here, let me help you. Hmm, not bad. Take good care of my ribbon, Cloppy Corn. Oh, I will, Bling. You can count on me. Yeah, I know. It's totally your turn to push a swapsy wagon. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Noddy. You solved the investigation. How did you do it? Thanks. At first, I thought Bling had taken all the toys. But it turns out, she only kicked away the ball. Then I found Hoof's tin of polish. The fairies dropped it when they took back their own yo-yo. They were worried Clubbycorn wouldn't look after it. But they agreed to play the game again. And now everybody's having fun. <laughs> the case of the empty Swapsy Wagon is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. It is a beautiful day in Toyland. A day of bright sun and good spirits. Good morning, Mr Plod. Good morning, Nuddy. And a pleasant day to you, Tessie Bear. Thank you, Mr Plod. It is bright and good, except, of course, in the darker places. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry, Gobbo. When's breakfast? When we steal it, Sly. Remember, the early bird gets the worm. Worms? Ugh. What sort of slimy breakfast is that? Oh. Aha! Breakfast! Muffins, my favourite! <laughs> I want a big one. Give me a big one. Shh! Be quiet while I feel around. <laughs> well, this puppet won't do. You look like you haven't been cleaned in years. <laughs> Hey, where's my muffin? Oh, oh yes. uh, I think it's fighting back. Uh. Why look, Tessie Bear? A runaway muffin. Who could it belong to? Good morning, Dinah Doll. Is this yours? Why, yes. Thank you, Noddy. Thank you, Tessie Bear. You're so polite and honest. A less honest person would have just eaten it. As a reward, here, these are all yours. 
Huh? Wow, thanks, Diamond Doll. Mmm, mm. delicious. But we were here first. Oh, that's where you're going, Sly. What? I can't see. You said stealing ice cream would be easy. Everything smells oh. like dirt. <laughs> don't move. Oh, these flowers don't look at all well. Maybe they need some water. There, all better. Oh, thank you for watering my flowers. Just for that, you can have all the ice cream you want. Thank, Thank you, you Miss Pink Hat. How come nobody's nice to a goblin? How come nobody gives treats to us? Uh, we smell? No, you idiot! It's because they're too busy giving goodies to Noddy and Tessie Bear. What makes them so great? Is it what they wear? Is it what they eat? What, what in all the world could make, make those, those two, two so sweet? sweet? Why are they so nice? Help, we need advice! Tell me, tell me, tell me how, how they, they get so nice! Oh, I wish everybody treated us like Noddy and Tessie Bear. Yeah, if we were them, we'd get all their goodies. <gasps> Sly, that's it. To get goodies like Noddy and Tessie, we have to be Noddy and Tessie. How are we going to be them? We don't even look like them. Oh, we'll use our magic dress-up spells. Cover your eyes. Your eyes! Eyes! Oh. Give us their looks and give us their body. Make him Tessie and make me Noddy! Hey, how come I have to be Tessie Bear? Because you've got a dress on. Oh, yeah. Come on, we missed breakfast, but there's plenty of time for a free lunch. <laughs> Excuse me, weren't you going to ask for permission first? No, we skip right to the eating part. What's the matter? Aren't we cute enough for you? Cute has nothing to do with it, Tessie. You're eating all my muffins. I thought you believed in sharing. Fine. How's that for sharing? Oh! oh. Well, of all the... Oh. oh, my goodness! What is this? What does it look like? Dessert? Oh! What do you have to say for yourselves? Got any more vanilla? <gasps> um, hello everyone. Whatever is the matter? You! Muffin thieves! Ice cream gobblers! And I wouldn't have believed it, not in. Us? But we never take your muffins without asking, Dinah Doll. That's not like us at all. But it was you. I saw you. <gasps> After a thorough inspection, I've come to the conclusion that what we have is the case of two noddies and two tessie bears. <laughs> Not only that, but one of each is a fake. <gasps> Don't worry, Sly. They'll never know it's us. Since they look the same on the outside, we must discover what's inside, namely their goodness. So, I shall perform two simple tests. Test one, 
sharing. I have in my hand an irresistibly delicious Googleberry muffin, which I shall give to... <laughs> this Noddy. Now, Noddy, if that is your real name, what do you do with your muffin? I always share with my friends. Here, Tussie Bear. Thank you, Noddy. Aww. And, Noddy, if that is your real name, what do you do with your muffin? No! <laughs> hey! Get away! Where's my share? Not mine! Mine! Yes, well, not quite the sharing we're used to here in Toy Town. See? We're us. So you say. But the law must be certain. Let's see how you do with test number two. Caring. Quick! Noddy just stubbed his toe. What do you do? Oh, your poor toe. Does it hurt? Um, no. Oh, I'm so glad. Quick! Noddy just slipped on some oil, slid over the edge of a cliff, fell 6,042 feet and landed on a cactus. <laughs> Serves you right for all the times you poked my eyes and tweaked my ears and drew silly pictures on my nose. I never did that. You did? I did not. You did. As I suspected, this Noddy and Tessie have no goodness. They are fakes. Yay! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Wait till I get my hands on you! Don't blame me. He's the one who threw you off the cliff. Uh -huh. <gasps> the goblins! I knew it! Ah! Run for it, Sly! I'm with you, Gobbo! <laughs> It's a quiet day in Toyland. Well, quiet for everyone but Noddy. He's very, very busy. Keep your engine humming, Carl. We've got a busy day today. Busy, busy, busy. <laughs> Hold in the name of Plod. What's wrong, Mr. Plod? Wrong? You were supposed to deliver a new whistle to me, Noddy, and instead I got this. Hmm? It's hard to direct traffic with bagpipes. <laughs> See? People don't know whether to halt or dance. Whoops. Sorry, Mr. Plod. I'll go pick up your whistle right away. Well, here's one more delivery we have to do this morning. How am I supposed to get all my chores done? Why, you certainly sound like a busy little noddy. And tired. I wish I could spend all day having fun like you. Having fun? You know, staying home and reading, or working in your garden, or riding your bike around town. <laughs> do you think that's all I do? Yes, I wish my day was that easy. Hmm. Huh? All right, then. Suppose you and I switch places for the day, Noddy. I'll do your job, and you can spend the day being me. It's a deal. Now, here's what you have to do. First, pick up Mr Jumbo at Dinah's stall. Then... Well, Carl knows what to do, don't you, Carl? Pipe, pipe. Oh, oh, wait, Noddy. Don't you want to know what you have to do? There's nothing to know. You don't do anything. It'll be easy. <laughs> Funny little Noddy. I will be calm. Won't that be good? Surely we should try to be calm. Soon you will see this busy bee quite differently. I will be calm. Pretending to be big ears is a lot more fun than making deliveries. All I have to do is read a little, stroke my beard, and maybe take a nap. Oh, Noddy! Oh, hi, Tessie Bear. Come in. 
What brings you here? I saw Biggie is in town and I asked him for some help. But he told me you were being him today. That's right. Today I'm being Big Ears. Well, Big Ears promised me a potion that will make my potatoes grow larger. Hmm. I didn't know Big Ears helped with potatoes. Oh, yes. Many people ask him questions about gardening. Well, then I'll give it a try. <laughs> Aha! It says here to use one drop of blue growing potion. This looks blue to me. Noddy, what did you do with my potatoes? Oops. That must have been a disappearing potion. Sorry, I'll find one for growing and replace them right away, Tessie. Well, I should hope so. Biggie has never did anything like this. <laughs> I don't know why Noddy was so upset about driving around town. It seems easy to me. Oh my, look at all those packages. That's a lot of deliveries. <laughs> I think things are about to get busy. Burp, burp. <laughs> I must have looked in a gazillion books, but I can't find anything about growing potatoes. Huh? There you go, Noddy. Big Ears told me you'd look at the drawings oh. for my new invention. Oh, not me, Mr Sparks. I don't know anything about drawings or inventions. Big Ears always helps me with them, and today you're Big Ears. But I thought all Big Ears did was ride around on his bike. Oh, no, 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 no. I ask Big Ears lots of questions every day. Everyone in Toyland does. They do? <sighs> well, if Big Ears helps with drawings, then so will I. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, this straight line is very straight. Uh, I know. Why don't you... <gasps> Oops! My drawing! It's ruined! I'm sorry, Mr Sparks. Uh, uh, I'll make you a new drawing. Can you? Uh, I mean, why not? Big Ears is good at that sort of thing, and you're Big Ears, right? Right. That's me. Did you find that growing potion, Noddy? Oh, I'll work on it right now. Wait, what about my drawing? Mm. 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 I think... I think... I think it's time for my afternoon bike ride. I cried. I never knew Big Ears had so much to do. Well, I'll just stay in town and ride my bike for the rest of the day. Halt in the name of Flood! I need you at the station right away. Why me? Because Big Ears was supposed to write my speech for the town meeting. So now you're in charge of doing it. Write a speech? But... But... No buts. I need it by tonight. Noddy, what about my potatoes? No, no, no. He's got to do a drawing for me. Me first. Police business. Stop, please. I don't know anything about potatoes or plans or speeches. I've got to talk to Big Ears. You, you are, are Big, Big Ears. Ears. Not anymore. Help, Big Ears. <laughs> <sighs> I'm 
tired. Loading all those packages was a lot of work. Oh, what a hard worker little Noddy is. Big Ears, help! Oh, what is it, Noddy? I was wrong, Big Ears. I don't want to be you anymore. It may look easy, but it's not. Oh, neither is being Noddy. I didn't know you had to answer so many questions. That's hard work. I'd rather just be Noddy again and drive my taxi. Can I be me again? Please? Oh, of course you can, Noddy. In fact, you're the best Noddy there is. Ooh. Thank you, Big Ears. Guess what, everybody? Big Ears is Big Ears again. What about my potatoes? What about my plans? What about my speech? Whoa, one at a time, please. I'm sure there's an answer to each of your questions. Oh, thank you, Big Ears. Like I said, Carr, being Big Ears isn't easy, but nobody does it better than Big Ears. Burp, burp.